eh, eh, ah, eh. Can you hear the difference? What about just eh and ah? Eh? Because when you say bed, it might just sound like bad. And they are similar. So you might just be thinking, eh, close enough. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So you might be close and people might be used to you and they might be guessing to understand you. Yeah, I think I get you. So if you wanna be sure that people get you, be careful to articulate eh and eh very carefully. And if close enough isn't good enough for you, then keep watching. I'm gonna show you how to perfectly pronounce these two very American sounds. And not only that, but I've got some extra special listening practice for you in case you need it, so that your words sound better, not badder. So hit that subscribe button for some very special high level accent tips and tricks from me. So the main problem is that most languages don't even have eh or eh, but they have eh, which is close. But what did we say about close? Not good enough. Not good enough! So what's the difference between the sound you probably already have and the sound I want you to make, eh? First, listen and see if you can hear the difference. E, 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 e. When people ask me where their tongue should be for the eh sound, I say, down in front. And that's why we call them front vowels. But what about your jaw height? Like you said, you gotta keep it loose, right? But if you're thinking, a little outside my comfort zone. Don't worry, I want you to trust me and do it anyways. It's all about repetition. Soon, you're gonna increase your muscle tone and your muscle memory so that it'll be automatic. So, I want you to practice by copying that sound with me. Eh, eh. So, it's gonna be best, not based. Get, not gate. Pen, not pain. And red, not raid. And like I said, it takes repetition. And that's a great start, but... There's always a catch. Spelling in English, especially when it comes to vowels. In general, there are two main ways that the sound of eh is going to be spelled. The first one is gonna be plain old E, letter E. Accept, correct, forget, protect, hotel, and suggest. And spelled with the letters E, a. But be careful if you're thinking about pronouncing these words as if you're reading them. For example, R-E-A-D-Y, you might say it more like ready or ready or something like that when you see the E-A. In fact, the color R-E-D should sound the same as... Ready. Ready. Great. Now try these with me. Breakfast. Breath. Health. Jealous. Measure. Already. Also, there are a few important instances where the E eh sound is just spelled with plain old letter A, like in any or many, eh, eh, and some spelling anomalies like again, friend, and says, leopard. I might be likely to say leopard instead if I were thinking about spelling. So we're talking about the eh sound here and it just seems to be eh, eh, eh everywhere. Now let's put it all to eh, eh together. Try to see if you can articulate all the eh sounds in this sentence, no matter what the spelling is, eh, eh. Do any of you expect the hotel to accept the scent of marshmallows and eggs for breakfast again, said my friend at the end of the desk. So how many instances of eh did you hear? 13. Yes, there should be 13 eh sounds in that sentence. And if you find this nerdy pronunciation stuff challenging and interesting, you should totally come to my free live monthly American Accent Masterclass. And in just two hours, you're gonna flex some accent muscles you never even knew existed. So sign up down below to get the invitation for the next free masterclass. And if you can do eh, I bet you can do 
A. Plus, the spelling is way easier. It's just the letter A. And it's a very American sound, whereas if you learned British English in school, your tongue might be further back. For example, where I might say path, they would say path. And where I would say bath, they would say bath. So what's the main difference between a eh and ah? You might have already guessed it. All right, tongue. A eh has the tongue in the front, whereas ah has the tongue in the back. And, and. Your jaw is going to drop. You're going to drop your jaw even more for a. Eh. A, eh, a, eh, a, eh, a. Eh. Can you give it a try? Sure thing. Well, many languages have an A sound where their tongue is right in the middle. But that just makes it sound a little bit off to us. It's more like ah, rather than ah, eh, or even ah, ah, tongue right in the middle. So here's my number one trick for pronouncing the perfect eh and ah sounds. Here it comes. But first, if you're like, whoa, 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 these are all sounding the same to me, don't worry, I've got you covered. It's just a one minute short of me saying eh and ah for listening practice for you. You can put it on loop, you can shadow with me, it's down there right in the pinned comments for you. So now, the number one trick. Get on with it. Yes. You're actually going to use your tongue to push your jaw open and forward. And this trick is going to do three things for you. It makes sure that your tongue is in the front, that your jaw is as open as it needs to be, and that you're giving eh enough time. Because many people say it way too quickly. Now let's practice and contrast the eh and the ah sounds with a list of almost identical words. I'm ready, Captain. Flesh, flash. Guess, gas. Set, sat. Shell, shall. Tech, tack. X, axe. Fed, fad. Kettle, cattle. Rebel, rabble. But watch out. Because what some people do is they make the sound a little too early before their jaw is in position. So even if their tongue is already in position, they're moving their jaw so it kind of sounds like eh, eh. Two sounds instead of one. Mm -mm. We just want one sound, either eh or eh. Make up your mind. And these are just two of the many sounds in English that you might be pronouncing eh, close enough. And hey, if you're happy with how you speak, heck, if you're happy, then I'm happy too. Oh. But for people who are a bit more passionate about their accent, then I'm here for you. Your ears need a lot of repetition before you can expect your mouth to pronounce it well. And if that's the case, then I have the perfect little short for you where I'm repeating a whole list of words that contrast eh and ah eh for you. And next, you should be mastering the e and i sounds because you might just be swearing when you don't mean to be. I'm Accent Coach Bianca and I'm on a mission to help people understand accents better. See you in the next video.